is Hugo Launcher. His favorite website is hassle3cashflowinvesting.com. So let's establish uh, a paradigm of what low hassle means, right? So we want less hassle invested with the same returns, right? So here are some things that cause stress in people's life. One is the unknown, right? If you don't know what you're doing, it's going to feel stressful and it's going to be hassle. So how do you mitigate this hassle? Well, it's education, right? Education mitigates the unknown. The other is experience. So if you are feeling stressed about investing, if you don't have confidence in what you're doing, then educate yourself, get some experience by doing a few small deals, put your toe in the water first, and then gradually grow. The other is surround yourself with a team that you trust. Because you could say, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I feel good that my team does. And so maybe it, when you're looking at all the different investment opportunities, you might choose something that uh, has a team built in, a turnkey product with a team. The only way to get experience is to do, or to simulate the experience. And so if you can simulate experiences um, or actually jump in and do, one way that you can simulate is potentially by uh, interning. That's a great way to do it. Another way that you could do it is by playing games. There's several games out there uh, that will allow you to simulate um, practicing investing in real estate, like Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Board Game is a good example. Um, there, there, there's a couple other. The other is through uh, being a passive investor in someone else's deal, right? With a, uh, a mentor, right? So you've got capital at risk, so you feel that pain of loss and you feel that excitement of gain, but you've got a mentor working with you to help go through that experience. And that kind of comes down to team and who you really want on your team. And a lot of people start on the team by thinking, oh, I need to have uh, a, a lawyer and I need to have an LLC drawn up before I can invest. And that's not true. That's really not true. It's the, the tail wagging the dog, right? What you really need to have is a property that makes money and you need a team to help you turn that property into the desired outcome of why you bought that property. So you've got a property and a business plan. And your business plan is, I'm going to buy this property, I'm going to rent it out and use the income to pay the expenses in the mortgage and there's money left over and I can pay down this 30-year fixed mortgage. So who do you need on your team to manage that? Well, number one, you're going to need a property manager a professional property manager. And there is uh, some training videos on hasslefreecashflowinvesting.com on uh, how to work with a property manager, how to select a property manager. And it's super important to realize that if your vision of investing is managing your own properties, property management is a big hassle. And so all of the time that you spend managing your property is reducing your return on investment, not enhancing, right? Even if you're a great manager and you only take one hour a month to manage a, a property, once you get to 160 properties, that's all your time. Maybe your 160 properties are producing an insane amount of cash flow, but you're stuck managing them, and so you didn't get the desired result, which is freedom of time. We want your investments to increase your quality of life. If your quality of life is going up, you know you made a good decision. If your quality of life is going backwards, it's not a good investment. Sometimes you make a small trade-off to say, I'm investing for a future quality of life by taking a small step back in, in the present, and, and, and that could make sense. But let's get, get back to team. So you definitely need a property manager. You definitely need a financing team. And that could be a mortgage broker who understands how to work with investors or a banker that really understands how to work with real estate investors. Um, and you also need a strategist. And a strategist is someone that you can third party process with and externally process with. And you can say, I'm thinking about doing A, B, C. What do you think? And then they can shoot holes in that theory or say, yeah, 
I, you know, I, I think that that seems like a pretty valid strategy. Sometimes the strategist could be someone that you know in real life. Sometimes the strategist could be virtual. It, it could be just plugging into a system where the properties are pre-screened for a strategy. You do your personal investment strategy consultation. You meet with our team and our investment counselors, and you can say, hey, what I'm trying to achieve is this. Will this property help me get there? And then you can work that uh that, that process out. So once you've got your financing, your property management, and your strategist in line, sometimes the strategist is your spouse, right? But be careful who you're asking advice from. Very times people will say, well, I talked to my brother-in-law and he thinks it's a terrible idea. And my response is, well, what qualifies your investor, your brother-in-law to have an opinion? Is he an investor? Does he have any properties? Has he ever done this? Does he have any... Is he financially independent? All right, what qualifies that person to have an opinion? So when you're building your team, start with your strategist, your property manager, your financing team to get pre-qualified because before you can go buy a property, you need to know if you can qualify for the, for the financing. The next steps um, come where maybe you need uh, a lawyer to help you with your asset protection strategy, with your estate planning strategy. You also need a tax advisor because taxes are the greatest expense you will ever have in your life. And so you want to get an advisor to help you pay less in taxes. One of the greatest advantages of investing in real estate is it's very tax friendly. There are a lot of great tax advantages. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, why real estate is so tax friendly. So don't go buy your LLC first. Don't go get your CPA first. I mean, if you got one, that's great. But don't feel that you can't invest until you get those. Start with your property management, financing, your strategist, and then go get a property. And then from there, you can decide, you know, do what state do I need an LLC in? What state do I need a lawyer in? And that's going to change depending on what property that you have, right? Same with tax advisors. If you're going to buy a property on the moon, then you want a tax advisor who's familiar with the, the tax laws of whatever jurisdiction you've decided to in, invest in and whatever product type you've decided to invest in, right? We're a big advocate of starting with single family homes, but for many people, you're not gonna be able to get completely out of the rat race investing solely in single family homes. Eventually, you'll have to work into some type of a commercial real estate environment, and that could change who your tax advisors uh, are. Help me go to hasslefreecashflowinvesting.com.